Hey, SoFlo, welcome to Inside South Florida. How's it going? I'm your host, Jason Carter. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. You know, Hispanic Heritage Month is in full swing, and we're celebrating our robust Latin community right here in SoFlo with a trailblazer today. It's my pleasure to welcome President of Florida National University, Dr. Maria Cristina Reguero, to Inside South Florida. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It is a pleasure to have you on the show and also a pleasure to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with you today. Share with our audience your experience of being an immigrant to the United States and what your life looked like then. I came to this country back in 1966 with my mother and my siblings. And uh, it has been a privilege to be able to achieve the American dream and to give back to our community. Um, I am an educator. I am the president of Florida National University. So I have been able to help achieve, together with my husband and my siblings, the life of many immigrants that have come to this country and have not only achieved the American dream themselves, but they have been able to contribute to the country, which is very important, and to make sure that their family have a better future as well. Those contributions are absolutely important, Maria. You mentioned the American dream. What did that American dream look like to you? Because it's different for so many. Yes, when to me, the American dream was the ability to come to the country and be able to leave this country or help achieve the dream of many so that we could, in fact, make a contribution and leave a legacy. Legacy is exactly what you're leaving. You opened the first Cuban American university in the United States. You are a, a woman of first. How does that feel when you hear that? It is very rewarding because of course, um, my husband, like I said, and my siblings and myself uh, have been working together to achieve being the only Cuban American university in the United States and being highly recognized because we have achieved uh, the accreditation of SACS, which is very important. And uh, we, we are very, very satisfied with the legacy that we're leaving and what we have been able to accomplish. You know, it, it could be so, something so simple as to, you know, I, I have students that came to us and they were looking for a better, better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They were looking to be able to take their kids to Disney World. They were looking to achieve um, the dreams they had to become a nurse, to become a um, diagnostic medical sonographer, different programs that allowed them to provide a better life for their family and make a contribution because it's very important to make a contribution with right. our taxes. Exactly. You, hey, you have to give back, right? Too much, Absolutely. Is, too much is required. I want to ask you about you in your journey personally, because yes, you are very successful. You mentioned your legacy and you're leaving an incredible legacy here in South Florida. What were the challenges getting there though? It's not easy. You immigrated here as a young woman um, to a country, yes, that there is the American dream, but you know, for some, this is not the most welcoming place. How did you overcome the obstacles? You know, I figure that it takes two to create a battle. So I always try to do the very best under my circumstances. And basically, I always said, it doesn't matter what others are doing. What matters is what I'm doing and what is it that I'm leaving as a legacy to this world. So it wasn't easy because my first degree is in electrical engineering. So I came and I was in a um, world that was predominantly dominated by males. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I was Hispanic. So it was not an easy task, but I, I was able to overcome the challenges by giving the very best of me all the time. Dr. Ruggiero, you mentioned 
legacy and community. What do you want your legacy to be? And what do you want to leave to the Hispanic community here in South Florida? I wanted to make sure that this is a better place, a better place for all that we give as well as we're taking. So we're making a contribution and we are making sure that we are making a difference in our community. Like you said, you know, we tried very hard through the university to make sure that we're contributing to different organizations, that our students are going to be able to know how important it is to give back. And of course, we don't have traditional students. We have the students that have to work, have a family, and have to overcome the challenges that we have addressed. President of Florida National University, Dr. Maria Cristina Ruggiero, um, congratulations on such a beautiful life and also congratulations on such a wonderful success. And you're just getting started. <laughs> you're just getting yes, started. Yes, of course. <laughs> the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.